videos and girls welcome back for another video and today we are talking about products that we need to pump the brakes on yes these are ones that I'm slowing down on and y'all know I'm doing a project pan we are saving ten thousand dollars project pan is only like the first series that I'm incorporating in saving ten thousand dollars but yeah I'm really excited let's jump right in we are not going to prolong the goods okay let's talk about the things that i'm pumping the brakes and i'm stopping purchasing because i just noticed that it takes me forever to get through okay first thing lipsticks have you noticed like i love matte kind of sexy that is my jam milani rose film but it takes me forever to get through a lipstick yes why because i have so many if i can condense the ones that i love you know i love nude lipsticks i'm going to have a lot of them but i need to know that i just can't go through them so quickly so you know i really should have i mean honestly in a realistic world i mean it's hard to get rid of products especially when they haven't gone bad and lipsticks are kind of like that for me um really like my top 10 lipsticks that I couldn't live without uh, maybe that's a video that I should do because it maybe it'll make me help declutter the rest of them have y'all seen how many lipsticks I have this is not even including liquid lipsticks which is another one um lip glosses which is another one and lip glosses I probably get through faster but honestly I need to like worry about these and pump the brakes on like even purchasing another one seriously ultra satin lipsticks lip creams yeah don't need another one look at this yeah uh we have i just need to do a lip swatch fest and show you guys on tan skin and show you guys my lipstick collection because this is kind of crazy but at the same time i know this is something that i need to do because i always look at lip swatches and i'm like i need to do lip swatches people need to see how it looks on tan bronze skin you know what i'm saying so yeah don't need another one. You know, another thing I don't need is brow powders. Brow powders and brow pomades. Brow pomades, I have kind of like a full brow. I do want to keep a couple on hand for my kit, but honestly, me, it looks make makes me look like grouch or marks or make me have the mad girl syndrome. Yes, but I love brow powders, but look how many brow powder kits I have. I don't need another one. No, don't need. I've gone through like maybe two of these in my lifetime, but I don't need any more. You know, BoxyCharm got me, okay? Because I think these two have gone through BoxyCharm, okay? Got these at an event. I don't need any another. Uh, no, no, no. Takes me forever to get through these. Let's talk about something else. Eyeliners. How many black eyeliners do I need, Melissa? Once I find a formula, I need to just lock down it and then, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying other ones, but I don't need to have 10 black eyeliners. It takes me forever to get through it. Yes, because I don't wear eyeliner all the time. On a daily, I do not wear eyeliner like that. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I need to like go through this because on a daily, honestly, I just don't wear eyeliner. Not like that. Another thing, colored eyeliners. Don't need as many as that. <laughs> I want to get the Marc Jacobs, the highlighters everybody been talking about so badly. Yes. But I have Makeup Forever. I have Lancome. Y'all, I don't, these are like great for the spring and summer. But honestly, I have not been using, wearing these as much. Okay. Don't need any more. Stop it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Another thing, lip pencils. I usually gravitate to the same pencils. Jordana Rock and Rose, Jordana Tawny, uh, NYX Coffee, uh, what a Strip Down, etc. Morning Coffee. Those are my jams. Soar. You know, those are my jams. OCC Trick. When I can spit them out like that, and the Precision Lines Liners by Lip Liner by uh, Make It Forever. Oh, what? I don't need another lip liner. No, I need to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. This is gonna be really hard, but I need to pump the brakes on foundations. How many foundation? Have y'all seen my foundation declutter? And how many I've kept? Yeah, uh, foundations. I love, love, love reviewing. But honestly, I am setting a rule not to purchase any foundations uh, until then. I will be trying maybe foundations later. 
but until then I just need to do foundation Friday and get through the ones that I have literally I have at least at least 15 foundations y'all it it's my NARS sheer glow is probably the first foundation that I ever went through completely through and it took me a little bit over a year why because I rotate once you find your love your jam just keep buying that maybe try one foundation if you don't like it discard it you know if it's not as good or you like the coverage you know ooh, but I'm a foundation hoarder but in a real world everyday makeup y'all we don't I, I, I I'm testing these but in a real world like every day I already know my jams okay I know them but it's hard it, it's hard getting rid of these and I want to be able to talk to you guys about some of these so I do keep them on hand but I already know my jams so I need to pump the brakes. I highly recommend you guys trying at least one time Project Pan. And I'm not like pushing, trying to be a pusher for a Project Pan, but when you realize how long it takes you to get through something, you don't purchase as many. I'm serious. Yes. And plus, if you have a makeup sub subscription, y'all, you really don't need, because they're gonna get you with the eye primer. They're gonna have like a face primer on there, which is another thing. Stop it, Melissa. Stop. yeah so uh, just pump the brakes Melissa I know I'm talking to myself in third person but I hope this is helping you as a guide thanks so much for watching I hope this was a guide for you um, kind of like to know what you just need to slow down on the purchases and I'm using makeup as a reference but it could be clothes it could be anything that you know you are feeling overwhelmed and that is kind of like an indicator like when I saw how many lipsticks I had I was like I feel overwhelmed like I didn't even want to do a lipstick declutter because of how many lipsticks I had that kind of like yes yeah so hope this was a guide for you guys to just know what to slow down on I mean this is I'm using myself and as, as an example but you know what's in your makeup collection you know what's in your closet you know what's in your room like don't allow yourself to be in overwhelm because that is when you know the most creative you can be is when you have a clear mind and when you have a decluttered room you have decluttered makeup collection you have a decluttered everything is a win you're not your best you know what I mean so yeah hope this guy I hope this was good for you guys let me know give me a thumbs up let me know if you like videos like this and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see beautifully you in the next video bye puppies